Welcome back to One Comic Book a Day, where we're covering Superman 73 and the third and final story, Perry White versus Clark Kent. I actually said it the other way first, so this is a retake. The story you didn't know you wanted and probably still don't want because it's not a particularly great story. It doesn't really sell the idea of what the story is, or it's selling a better version of said story. Really, it's more like Clark gets Perry fired than helps him get his job back. So Perry keeps making massive mistakes at the Daily Planet that have to do with Superman's powers affecting things, like his x-ray vision ruining a photo and the wrong photo getting put in the paper and it's a big mistake, or Clark making up figures to pretend he's reporting and then he has to go actually save some people and Perry uses his fake figures in the notebook. Superman has a photographic memory. He remembers everything, so he didn't have to write anything down. He just wants to seem like he's less impressive. He, he wants to seem normal, so he pretends to write things down. Why he doesn't just write down what he heard is beyond me. And that one's more on Perry than it is on Clark. But Perry gets fired, but he gets rehired at the Dispatch, a rival newspaper, and gets to work on rivaling the Daily Planet, including taking Lois with him. Clark gets a promotion. You think this could be like a fun idea of, well, not only them versus each other, and this is what the idea of it being versus, but he never seems all that worried or trying to defeat Perry at all. But you would think being the managing editor of a newspaper is very time consuming, and this would sort of take away from his heroics because he has to be there a lot and it's long hours. But no, him being managing editor barely comes up. So Perry is able to get the dispatch figures up without doing a contest, which, as we know, is his favorite way to get numbers up. So fascinating. It's, it's the time where he really should do a contest. He doesn't do a contest. It's just good old-fashioned reporting trying to find out who this insider is on this whole crime ring that you don't care about because it's so second nature to the story. In fact, they both solve it at the same time, but Clark is just completely into letting Perry win this and get his job back, which is what happens. And the guy's not even a threat at the end. All he has is an axe. Superman is bulletproof. What is an axe going to do to him? So I don't think this is really the potential of what this story could be. I do enjoy Superman helping people, but I was sort of sold the idea that Superman was going to try to keep this job in some way. If anything, it's just a whole bunch of accidents and Superman putting everything right, which is nice because he should do that. I just think uh, there was a better idea of this story. And I think we kind of got better versions of said story with uh, the story where Perry is trying to inspire people that happened not too long ago. And, and also the issue where Clark got fired for his own mistakes in the Voyage of the Loser story. Those are much stronger stories than this, but I am glad that we're getting Perry White stories. Okay, that is it from Superman number 73, Perry White versus Clark Kent. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. Hit the bell icon to get notifications when a new video is up. I do this Monday through Friday, but Fridays is Bat Friday, where we cover a Batman story in either Detective Comics or Batman. And until next time, let's ponder the question, whatever did happen to the Man of Tomorrow? And what happened with the dispatch? It had really good numbers. Did it just completely ruin that without Perry? Okay, have a great day.